hearing that a lot of people were talking about last Sunday night's mid-season finale of Mad Men. Am I right? Everybody was talking about it. Well, we are thrilled to have one of the cast members from Mad Men. Please welcome and put your hands together for Don Draper's secretary, Meredith, the one and only Stephanie Drake! <laughs> are such fans of you on Mad Men. I mean, Meredith has had such great moments ever since season five when Joan threw the plane, the oh, model yeah. plane at you. Yeah, no, I feel so lucky. Everyone on the show is fantastic. Well, let's talk about the season finale. I mean, it was full of surprises. Well, don't spoil it for anyone who hasn't watched it yet. <laughs> okay, okay, I won't spoil anything. But there is one thing I think we can talk about. I mean, it was a pretty big thing for your character. Yeah, I know you're talking about when I got to kiss Don Draper. I think we are. Let's look at that. <laughs> I think we got a picture of it. Yeah, we do. Look at that. Yeah. That is pretty cool. So, uh, tell me, what was that like? Oh, it was wonderful. I mean, it was such a gift to be part of such a pivotal scene that moved the whole season forward. I mean, when I got the script and saw what Matt Weiner had no, no, planned. No, 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 no. What was it like to kiss John Hamm? <laughs> oh, it was very professional. I mean, John's always such a joy to work with and very supportive of anyone who's he, you know, he's in a scene with. Supportive. So, so he kissed you back. <laughs> No, if you watched the scene. Oh, I watched the scene. <laughs> Six, eight, 15, 20 times I watched the scene. Yeah. So let me ask you, were his lips soft? Were they soft? No, Philip, there was more going on in the scene than me kissing him. I mean, it's kind of weird you're just focusing on that. Uh, I am a journalist, <laughs> and I am trying to get to the bottom of the story. I mean, so, all right, all right, let's just talk about other things. When you started the season, did you know what was in store for Meredith? I had no idea. When we ended season six, I had no idea if I'd be back, let alone what I'd be doing. I bet every day you got up and said, please, this year let <laughs> Meredith kiss Don Draper. Please, for the love of God, let that happen. No, I mean, I had no idea what was going to happen, and you just keep seem to be focusing. I mean, maybe the people in the audience would like to hear what it was like working on this show. Oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's a good idea. Well, we are in an improv festival, so let me ask you, do you ever improv in any of the scenes? No. <laughs> um, you know, a show as well written as Mad Men, we really do stick to the script, but you know, we get to try different things during different takes. Oh, say like one take, he kisses you with his mouth closed, and maybe the next take, he kisses you with mouth ever so slightly open, or maybe the third take, maybe he slips you the tongue. Or no, something. no, he never slipped me the tongue, okay? <laughs> Philip, no. There was more than just me kissing John Hamm. I mean, I, I thought you were straight. I am straight, but we're talking about John Hamm. I mean, any straight man would want to make out with John Hamm. I would, absolutely. <laughs> I'm fantasizing about it right now. <laughs> All right, you guys, you guys really want to know what it was like? Uh -huh. It was like being kissed by angels. Uh -huh. I mean, his lips were softer and smoother than silk pillows. Uh -huh. And he smelled like oak, uh -huh. leather, and this exotic spice that you would think would only be found in the Garden of Eden. Oh, it's just like I told you. <laughs> and, and when his lips touched mine, I lost all sense of past and future, and I hoped that time would just stand still in that moment and we'd be locked together forever. <laughs> Guys. Guys? Guys! Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, that was a lot of insight into that scene. Yeah. Do you want to see what it felt like? Wait, yeah. to, to kiss the lips that kissed John Hamm? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, right, like I would go from kissing John Hamm to you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Stephanie Drake, everybody! <laughs> Philip, I'll kiss you. 
I know you were Benny. Not part of it. And finally, Ann B. Davis, Alice from the classic TV show The Brady Bunch, died Saturday at age 88. She's expected to have a beautiful funeral until it's ruined by Cousin Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> but 